Today we're going to be trying to allocate $400,000 of a 1031 exchange for my clients Jerry and Lisa from California. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is probably one of my favorite shows on Holton Wise TV, guys. It's where I work with you one-on-one, -on -one, right? I get to, to work with you directly, then you get to work with me and my team uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, right? So if you've been watching Holton Wise TV or maybe you're watching the Investment Properties for Sale show on Holton Wise TV and you're thinking about uh, bidding on some real estate, getting in the game, but you feel like that show is moving too quick or it's not as personal, this is where you want to be. This is the show you want to, to be a part of, right? We, we work with you directly, right? We get your wants, your needs, your goals, figure out what makes you tick, where you're getting the money, how you're financing these properties, what you need to do, and then we uh, help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio, right? It's by your agency in a way that no other real estate agency has ever done, right? Most real estate agents, you guys know the drill, they think about selling real estate uh, to investors the same way they sell to owner-occupants. They think you drive around, find a cute house, you dream about a husband, a wife, 2.5 kids, a cute little dog, and a white picket fence, right? But that's not what we do, guys. We are doing this from a monetary investment standpoint. We are viewing these properties as monetary vehicles, right? And what we have here today, Jerry and Lisa, you guys are working on a 1031. We have to allocate uh, funds for $400,000 worth of real estate. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm doing three videos for you folks. I'm giving you guys three properties uh, to compare and contrast, right? We just uh, finished doing the quad and you uh, Lakewood rather quad and Lakewood. I like that one quite a bit. What I have for you guys here now is a triplex on Euclid Avenue. I'm sorry, Euclid Heights Boulevard, which is in Cleveland Heights. Okay. 3238 Euclid Heights Boulevard, to be specific. It's been on the market for approximately 90 days. Now, this is a high-end property, folks. This one has been fully renovated to the nines, right? So on the other one, we were talking about expecting older furnaces, older hot wa water tanks, things of that nature. This one just went through a full top-to-bottom renovation. So if you guys want... Pure turnkey assets for you know by every definition of the word. This is going to be the one of these three buildings that I'm showing you guys in these videos that you're definitely going to want. Everything has been touched on this building, including stainless steel appliances, right? Everything is new, is fresh. This thing has been totally redone. Nice fresh basement. You see the three brand new electric panels right there. This this whole thing is top to bottom taken care of, all right? Now, as far as the rents go, you're going to see, right? You're going to see some high rents here because of how nice everything is. 913, 1000 and 650. All of these are top of the market rents, right? So this thing is bringing in $30,756 a year. Of course, you don't get to keep all that though. You know, if we factor in our fixed and variable expenses, I anticipate spending approximately 14,964 a year. And even though we got new roofs, new boilers in there, uh, you know, new hot water tanks, everything is new. We're still going to save over $1,500 a year in capital expenditures, right? Because eventually you're going to need to replace that roof. Big old triplex like this, probably like an eight, dollars $9,000 roof. Eventually you're going to have to replace those hot water tanks. Probably do those every 15 years. That's a G. Eventually you're going to have to replace that boiler. You know, boiler repairs, you know, they're a little bit more than forced air furnaces, right? Forced air furnaces, you're looking at like 3K every 30 years. Boiler about the same time period, but, you know, it can go up to like 7, 8, 9K, right? Depending on what's going on with your boiler, right? So we're still, even though we're getting new fresh stuff today, we're still going to factor that in. So when I calculate your NOI of 15,792, 
I'm not calculating that 1500 That's on top of that, right? And I've also done the same for repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment. But you two have been in the game for 17 years, so you comprehend it, right? You guys really just come to me uh, for the on-the-ground resources and for a look at the Cleveland market specifically, right? You're not you're seasoned investors. You're not trying to learn the business. I understand that. Just want to go through everything. So, $15,792 is what I anticipate it making. As far as price goes, I think $289 is a little steep, okay? I think $289 is a little steep. Now, Cleveland Heights, it's a nice area. It's a B-class neighborhood. This is a very nice part of Cleveland Heights, right? I think uh, solid neighborhood, but I think $265 is the price I'd like to work the sellers down to. I think $265 is the right price. We pick it up for you guys at $265. It's a six-cap finance it right let's get 198,000 lent to us by a lender you guys only have to put 66,000 of your cash into the deal and that's going to be an 8.7 percent cash on cash return i like this one quite a bit now truth be told if i could buy this one or if i could buy the lakewood one i mean they're both very very nice uh i'm probably Oh, you know, that's a tough one. That's a toss-up. They're both nice. I'd say the answer is you should probably buy them both. But I, I do like the Lakewood one a little bit better just because I like the neighborhood of Lakewood a little bit more. I'm not saying this is a, an undesirable neighborhood. It's absolutely not. It's just the demand in Lakewood is unlike anything we've ever, anything you could experience, right? Yeah, you, you don't have a problem getting tenants in this property. Don't think you don't. But it's just like a normal thing, right? Like 30 days, you'll fix it. It's nothing like what you see in Lakewood where it's literally like a line down your door in a couple days. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So my preference would be the Lakewood one, but this is probably the second nicest of the three buildings I'm going to show you. And the third one is actually also in Lakewood, uh, but I would still pick that one after this one. This one is just so much nicer than that building. This one you're going to get so much more rent per unit than the third building. So this would definitely be, if we're ranking these in order, that's the order I did them, right? The first video is number one priority. This one's number two priority. The following video will be number three priority. So I like this one quite a bit. Nothing wrong with this one. I'd like to honestly see you guys take all three of these down if possible. But that is this one. Second of the three videos I'm doing for you folks today, right? So reply to this private link. Let me know your feedback if you want us to submit an offer. Of course, we are going to make that offer contingent on an appraisal, contingent on a third-party home inspection, and which will be no issue contingent on a clear POS because Cleveland Heights is a POS city. If you've never heard that terminology before, you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say POS. I put a link to another video where I explain the POS process in the show notes. Check that out after this video because if you're going to be investing in the Cleveland uh, market and a lot of these Cleveland neighborhoods, you're going to need to be very familiar with the point-of-sale process uh, because it's going to come into play on a lot of these deals, right? So that's going to be in the show notes as well. Everybody else, if you like what you see in this show, right? First of all, know that if you're watching this and you're not Jerry and Lisa, you're not watching this in real time. You can't go bid on this property. This property's long gone. When I work with clients, I send them these videos privately, and then I only release them on Holton Wise TV publicly after the deals are done, right? So if you guys are watching this, you're watching it after the fact, probably a couple months later, but if you want to get in the game and work with me, work with my team one-on-one, -on -one, uh, there's info on how to do that in the show notes below. You go to HoltonWise.com. Com, check out that info or keep it simple folks just send an email sales at holtonwise.com put your phone number and the email and my team will call you we'll talk to you we'll get all the info we need from you right we'll figure out what makes you tick how much money you have to work with how do you want to start the business what type of properties you're interested in what are your goals your wants your needs your desires right what can we do to help you we'll go over all that tell you how we work etc etc right that is what we do but if you're not ready for that just yet, what I highly recommend you do is smash that subscribe button and keep learning, keep checking out all the free content we put out there on Holton Wise TV because, folks, Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.